Ron Paul tells Trump, Assange is a hero. Do not send him to prison. Ron Paul has issued a blistering response to President Trump's about face in regards to Julian Assange and WikiLeaks, labeling the president as a hypocrite for turning his back on the whistleblowing organization. Everybody knows that WikiLeaks was part of this election because of the truth it brought out concerning Podesta and Hillary emails, basically handling, handing the presidency to Trump because of that. Writing in his weekly column at the Ron Paul Institute website, the former Texas representative declared that Julian Assange is a hero who deserves our admiration and respect, not a prison cell. Reminding the president that he publicly announced, quote, I love WikiLeaks, end quote, on October 10th on the campaign trail, and that he praised the organization for reporting on the darker side of the Hillary Clinton campaign, Ron Paul urged President Trump to become more like candidate Trump, the man who wanted to drain the swamp. Ron Paul writes, Back then, he praised WikiLeaks for prompting transparency, but candidate Trump looks less like President Trump every day. The candidate praised whistleblowers and WikiLeaks often on the campaign trail. In fact, candidate Trump loved WikiLeaks so much, he mentioned the organization more than 140 times in the final month of the campaign alone. Now, as president, it seems Trump wants WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange sent to prison. Last week, CNN reported, citing anonymous intelligence community sources, that the Trump administration's Justice Department was seeking to arrest Julian Assange and found a way to charge the WikiLeaks founder for publishing classified information without charging other media outlets such as the New York Times and Washington Post who had published the same information. So why not also charge New York Times and Washington Post? Why only WikiLeaks? Why only Julian Assange to be arrested? Ron Paul says CNN is fake news. It might have been tempting to write off the CNN report as fake news as is much of their reporting, but for the fact President Trump said in an interview on Friday that issuing an arrest warrant for Julian Assange would be okay with me, he says. Trump's condemnation of WikiLeaks came just a day after his CIA director, Michael Pompeo, attacked WikiLeaks as a hostile intelligence service. Pompeo accused Assange of being a fraud, a coward hiding behind a screen. Pompeo's word choice was no accident. By accusing WikiLeaks of being a hostile intelligence service rather than a publisher of information on illegal and abusive government practices leaked by whistleblowers, he signaled that the organization has no First Amendment rights. Like many in Washington, he does not understand, Pompeo does not understand, that the First Amendment is a limitation on government rather than granting of rights to citizens. Pompeo was declaring a war on WikiLeaks, in effect. And Ron Paul says Pompeo is a hypocrite. But not that long ago, Pompeo also cited WikiLeaks as an important source of information. In July, Pompeo drew attention to the WikiLeaks release of information damaging to the Clinton campaign, writing, quote, Need further proof that the fix was in from President Obama on down. End quote. That's a question. There is a word for this sudden about face on WikiLeaks and the transparency it provides us into the operations of the prominent and powerful. That word is hypocrisy. The Trump administration's declaration of war on whistleblowers and WikiLeaks is one of the greatest disappointments in these first 100 days of the Trump presidency. Donald Trump rode into the White House with promises that he would drain the swamp, meaning that he would overturn the apple carts of Washington's vested interests. By unleashing those same vested interests on those who hold them in check, the whistleblowers and those who publish their revelations, he has turned his back on those who elected him. Julian Assange, among with, along with the whistleblowers who reveal to us the evil that's being done in our name, are heroes. They deserve our respect and admiration, not a prison cell. If we allow this president to declare war on those who tell the truth, we have only ourselves to blame. This is by Baxter Dimitri on Your Newswire.